What is up guys in today's video I am going to be going over my settings in Fortnite chapter 2 remix but before we get into that I just wanted to quickly talk about a sale that my controller sponsor aim is currently running this week for Black Friday and if you are looking to get a custom controller with you know all the special features that custom controllers have like paddles on the back mouse click triggers and buttons and bumpers make it as you know reactive and sensitive as possible right now is a very good time to do so if you use my code on the aim website from november 25th i believe until the end of the month you will get 90 dollars off an order in, of 250 dollars or more in the us so if you made an order that was 250 dollars, you would get 90 off and then the order would be 160. for eu you'll get 80 euros off and the order has to be 230 euros or more so $90 off in the US, 80 euros off in the EU, and my code does work in both EU and NA. There will be a link down in the description below that you can check out uh, if you do want to get an AIM controller. And my code is just Evolve Jake, like my channel name is. So let's get into the settings now. Uh, for my graphics settings, I play on DX12. It's what I've played on since Chapter 4, Season 2, I believe, and it's just felt great to me. And then I have everything on low or off just so the game runs as consistently and as smoothly as possible. Um, so on this first page, pretty much everything is on low or off. For my sound settings, I have weird-ish sound settings, I guess, but it, it's what feels good and what's what works for me. And when it comes to audio in this game, what really matters is that you hear something and then know what that sound means, you know? So my music volume doesn't matter, but main is 100%, sound effects is 70. I don't know why, but this is just always what I've done. Uh, dialogue on 0%, so I don't hear the henchmen or anything. I think I had that at 0% because of a quest, so it was annoying me. Sound quality I have on high, 3D headphones I have off. This is what I said is kind of weird. I don't know why I have this setting off. It's just kind of how I've had things for a while. And I feel like I have a very good understanding of the audio in game and understanding of like when I hear something, what that means. So I've just, it's one of those things where like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And that's kind of how I felt. Uh, visualize sound effects. You want this setting on, it's really OP. I didn't use it for a long time, I, uh, like longer than other people, but you know, it, it's really OP. You probably should use it. Um, and then I don't know if anything, a licensed audio I have on mute all just because, you know, making YouTube videos and stuff that does mute certain emotes and stuff but interestingly in chapter 2 remix if you use the eminem minigun you typically hear lyrics from his song rap god if you have this setting on mute all then you just don't even hear that so i've seen a lot of people complain about the minigun being annoying for that reason but if that really bothers you that much you can just turn the setting on um don't know if any of this matters auto run lock zone i don't even know what this is double tap to auto run i don't have on toggle sprint i have an off i have a hold sprint Auto open doors, I have on. This is more of like a build mode thing. Uh, that's just why I've had it on. On Mantle activation, I have on hold jump. Hurdle activation on press jump. Hold to swap pickup, I have off. Toggle targeting, I have off. Mark danger when targeting, off. Auto pickup weapons, off. Preferred item slots. Shotgun in slot one, SMG in slot two. The reason why I have it set up like this is for early game. So I like having shotgun in slot one uh, because it's convenient to get to. I do have a scroll wheel, so I press scroll wheel up. On my controller and then i get to shotgun but even without that the reason why a lot of controller players put shotgun first is the act of taking walls like going from pickaxe to builds and then back to weapon just defaults you to slot one and that's why a lot of shotgun or why, why a lot of controller players put shotgun in slot one the reason why i have smg in slot two even though i typically put an ar here is because i very rarely use smgs and i like having shotgun ar but when it comes to early game, if I do end up finding an SMG for whatever reason, I would rather use that in close range. And then I feel like the time this preferred item slots really matters is going to be early game. So I just want my shotgun in slot one and then my SMG in slot two if I get it. Uh, but shotgun in slot one is like paramount to me. And then where were we? Auto sort consumables to the right. I have that on, but I don't really care that much about it. Reset building choice on. Disable pre-edit option on. Turbo building on auto confirm edits. I have it on reset. I never really liked uh, edit on release or auto confirm edits. Some people do. It definitely is a good setting that makes things easier, but I just never liked it as much. I don't know if any of this stuff matters. Tap to search interact on. You definitely want this. This makes it to where when you like search chests or anything, you just tap the button rather than holding it. This FOV setting is doesn't actually affect VR, I'm pretty sure. Replay mode I have on. Sleep energy mode off. You don't want this stuff to ever happen. Um, 
reticle and damage feedback i'm on reticle ammo indicator on damage numbers on cumulative reticle damage feedback off i think this is like where it like flashes when you hit people or whatever uh damage scale number scale 100 percent hud scale 90 percent um i've had people ask me how i get the ping on there so net debug stats is what shows your ping on the top of the screen and then the rest of this is just you can see it i don't need to go for each one i don't think the setting is too big i think you want the net debug stats and you definitely want the kill feed um this is touch controls i don't use that this is mouse and keyboard settings i don't use that okay so now we're on to the controller settings i have controller auto run off build immediately builder pro on edit hold time low as possible but i also have a separate bind for it so this just doesn't matter this is a setting that matters when you have edit and switch mode on the same bind slide hold time i have on point 80 you want this as low as you can get it without accidentally sliding um that's just this is what i've played for a while don't matter vibration i would recommend having off quick weapon i don't use but it's a good setting uh, i think for most people getting used to this would probably be ideal but i just don't use it build ascent 2 edit sense 2.1 40 40 no boosts 11 11 adfs no boosts again 1.45 scoped multiplier i've been asked about this a lot this season like what should i use it as this is very much preference like everything in this video pretty much is just preference and what settings feel best for you uh might not feel what feels best for somebody else but i feel like the sniper multiplier is something that is very much preference because it's a multiplier so if you play on different sensitivity than me and you put this multiplier on the same as mine it's not going to feel the same and then also i feel like the way you snipe really depends on what type of multiplayer you want like i've always been someone that wants to just like kind of quickly swipe over somebody and then pull the trigger but there are some people who you know play more like a different sniping style where they try to like aim somewhere and then wait until the opponent runs into that um since i snipe the way i do i like having a high scope sense but i think how you snipe would determine whether or not you want a high scope sense or a lower one and then also the setting would depend on this I, I don't even know if this is ideal for me this is just what i've been using for a bit and it feels okay i guess look dampening time i put on zero i was using this last season because the striker burst hour had incredibly low aim assist and i was using it for most of this season as well there's nothing wrong with it i had it on like 10. uh it just kind of allowed you to make some smaller adjustments but randomly i just decided to try turning it off and see how it felt and see if i would notice a difference and i didn't really notice a difference and i felt fine so i just left it as that i do play on linear not expo and then recently fortnite added these settings and there's been kind of some talk of this like they added the precision aim assist strength and the tracking aim assist strength and i've seen people talking about this like oh they added new aim assist personally i don't think they added new aim assist i would recommend putting both of these on 100 by the way i don't really know why you'd want to change it um, but I don't think they changed anything with this update. I just think they separated the two aspects of aim assist into two different settings. If you guys remember before, there was just the aim assist strength option. And I think now they kind of separated it into two settings that you can fine tune to your liking a little more. I still think 99.9% .9 of players are just going to play best with it on 100. But if for some reason you do want to change it, you can change it. Uh, but I think they just separated into two settings. I don't think they actually changed anything with aim assist. When that update came out, I didn't really feel any different at all. There wasn't a blog post that Fortnite put out. And every time they have made like big changes to aim assist, they have put out blog posts like when they went to the human like aim assist thing last season. Uh, and then also I haven't seen any other like good controller players talking about there being any changes. So I don't think anything changed with these settings. If you have both on 100, it was the same as having the old setting on 100. They just gave you the option to fine tune them a little more separately uh for dead zones i use 1210 i feel like you want these dead zones as low as you can get them without getting stick drift this is just what i've played for a long time um and then none of this other stuff matters for key binds my binds are not optimal uh i play claw so my index finger is on the triangle circle x square buttons at all time like this uh and then i also do have paddles i use one paddle for sprint but your binds again it's a lot of preference so i use x jump my binds are mostly just default square reload uh pickaxe left stick crouch right stick change material right stick I, yeah i don't think any of this really matters i have sprint i don't even know where it'd be probably on the first page 
Okay, yeah, I have sprint on the D-pad, but that's because I use a paddle for it. That's my weirdest bind, but most of them are just default. Because I play claw and because I have paddles, I don't really need to change my settings that much to have ideal key binds. Like with the key binds on controller, you want to be able to take your thumbs off the analog sticks as little as possible. Anytime you have to take your thumb off the stick to like jump or crouch or any of that, you can't really aim at the same time while doing that action. And that's why playing claw is beneficial. And that's why having paddles on the back of the controller, which you can get with an aim controller using code of all Jake to save $90. Uh, that's why having those is beneficial because having them on the back of the controller, you don't have to take your thumbs off the stick. And so you could just be doing every action while aiming uh, or play claw. I, I started playing claw in like 2008, which was like long before paddled controllers were a thing. Um, and I've never had any problems for it. So that is why I play claw. Um, and why I don't just like full switch to paddles because I just feel fine as I am. Uh, but that is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to quickly go over my settings, explain what I thought was worth explaining, and then also let you guys know about the Black Friday sale that AIM is doing because I think it's a really good sale. And if you are looking for a custom controller, uh, that can save you a lot of money. They also do have Hall Effects sticks. Personally, I don't like the Hall Effects. A lot of people do. It is a way to eliminate stick drift because it's a different type of analog stick. But to me, they feel really sensitive and I just didn't feel like adjusting to it. So I just still use the regular sticks, but Hall effects are an option if that is something you want. Typically, the Hall effects sticks take longer to order, though, for some reason. I don't know why that is, but if you do order Hall effects, uh, your order will probably take a decent amount longer. But either way, uh, if you do need a controller, check out the link in the description below. Use Evolve Jake, an insane discount this week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.